Wiseman makes his move. The drive, the floater, hits the run! Wisconsin up by one! Four seconds, three seconds, Jones fires! Wisconsin wins! And what you just heard was the sound of the Badgers' upset over Purdue, the top team in the Big Ten, to advance to the conference final tomorrow. We'll recap the action. Also tonight, the latest out of Philadelphia, where a suspect has been arrested after killing three people and engaging police in an hour-long standoff. And later, with Irish dancing a common occurrence this time of the year, what does their preparation entail? We go behind the scenes. That's all coming up on News 3 Now at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jalen Banks. Well, the Badgers overcame the odds to beat Purdue in the Big Ten semifinals. You saw it right here on News 3 Now. Let's hand it over to sports director Zach Hanley, who has more on the big victory. Zach? In sports, it's a saying that's as old as time. Hard to beat a team three times. So after being swept in the regular season, Wisconsin had the perfect opportunity to avenge those losses and advance to the Big Ten title game in their semifinal matchup with Purdue. And this one was a wild one. 2.7 seconds left. Badgers down to Chucky Hepburn takes it to the cup and beats the buzzer to send this one into overtime. He finished with a team high 22. And in OT, similar situation. Bucky down one, but this time they call on Max Klesmet. And Kles, the closer, sends Wisconsin onto the Big Ten championship game with the floater. Badgers win it in OT, 76 to 75. Just a terrific uh, March game. And uh, excited to, you know, watch these guys mature and grow and get better as the season's going on. And, and um, they're playing their best basketball right now, which is where you want to be. So um, excited to and we'll enjoy this one for a couple hours and then get ready for tomorrow's championship game. Now, Wisconsin will face Illinois for the Big Ten title. We'll have much more on their big win over Purdue later in sports. All right. Well, sounds good. Thank you, Zach. Now let's turn it on over to meteorologist Buddy Reeves. Who's got your first one forecast, Buddy? Thanks so much, Jalen. Yeah, we had a beautiful day here across southern Wisconsin. Had a mixture of clouds and sun as we moved on into the afternoon, and it was actually a little bit windy uh, today. Those winds have calmed down a little bit now, but they will pick back up again as we move on into your Sunday. Taking a look at the Capitol Sky Shot right now, you can see beautiful conditions outside. Temperature is 40 degrees with a northwest wind at 6. Across Dane County right now, 40 degrees here in Madison, 41 in Middleton, and our friends in Mount Horeb at 41. Taking a look at the rest of the state, 42 in Boscobel, 41 in Lone Rock. So these temperatures should fall off overnight tonight into the lower into the mid 20s, excuse me. And our wind speed is right now six miles in Madison, so not too bad, but out near Lone Rock Mineral Point, it is uh, gusting up to 22 miles per hour. As you're planning your overnight tonight, 35 degrees. 26 by 7 a.m. and then we are looking for a high of 36 degrees on your St. Patrick's Day. And speaking of St. Patrick's Day, if you are heading out to the Capitol tomorrow for the parade, look for temperatures to be around freezing at 1 o'clock and then uh, staying around freezing at 7 o'clock. Coming up in Maine weather, we will talk about how long these cold temperatures will last and the chances for rain and snow as we move on into later in the week. That's coming up. All right, buddy, we'll see you then. The Wisconsin Department of Criminal Investigations is looking into a pair of officer-involved shootings in and near Beloit, in which one person died. The Winnebago County Sheriff's Office in Illinois says a South Beloit police officer initiated a traffic stop on Route 251 North, which leads into Wisconsin. That's where they say shots were fired. The stop ensued into Beloit, where there was another shooting involving a police officer from Roscoe, Illinois. The suspect was taken to an area hospital and later died. No officers were injured. The city of Beloit says none of their officers fired a weapon. Staying in Rock County, where their sheriff's office says they used the drone to locate a driver in a single vehicle crash who fled the scene. The crash happened early Friday morning in the northwest area of Janesville, right where you see on the map. The officer fled the crash scene and was located with the drone. He displayed signs of impairment and was arrested for operating while intoxicated. He was taken to the Rock County Jail. A bicyclist is dead after being hit by a car on Madison's east side last night. Madison police say it happened around 6.20 Friday evening. The collision shut down traffic shortly thereafter near the East Town Mall. The person involved was riding their bike on Lean Road near Parkside Drive when they were hit. MPD says the victim was a 35-year-old male. An investigation is ongoing. 
Tonight, former President Trump is on the campaign trail in the battleground state of Ohio. This is President Biden gets set for a late night in the nation's capital. CBS's Natalie Brand is at the White House. Former President Donald Trump returned to friendly territory Saturday, a state he won twice. I'm thrilled to be back with the proud, hardworking patriots of the great state of Ohio. I won this state and you won this state. He's not only campaigning for himself in Ohio, but his pick for the U.S. Senate seat ahead of a competitive three-way GOP primary. I think there is a divide in our state, obviously, yes. Friday, Trump's former vice president, Mike Pence, said he cannot in good conscience endorse him again. But in the courtroom, Team Trump did have a small victory in delaying his New York hush money trial, postponed until at least mid-April. And in Georgia, special prosecutor Nathan Wade resigned from the 2020 election interference case after the judge there ruled either he or D.A. Fonnie Willis and her office had to step aside following a hearing about their romantic relationship. It remains unclear how many of Trump's four criminal cases will go to trial before the fall as voters brace for a rematch. Not everybody's thrilled about it. Our members are focused on uh, turning out for President Biden. President Biden aimed to energize voters this week in key battlegrounds of Michigan and Wisconsin, two states that helped him win the White House last election. On Tuesday, President Biden heads to two of the Southwest's most competitive battleground states, Nevada and Arizona. Both have large Latino populations, a key demographic both campaigns are fighting to win over. At the White House, Natalie Brand, CBS News. Now to a terrifying scene where police say a 26-year-old man is now in custody in Trenton, New Jersey, after he shot at least three of his relatives in two separate homes in nearby Levittown, Pennsylvania today. Police say 26-year-old Andre Gordon forced himself inside of a home where he shot and killed his 52-year-old stepmother, Karen Gordon, and his 13-year-old sister, Kyra Gordon, this morning. He then allegedly moved on to a second home where officials say he shot and killed the mother of his children, 25-year-old Taylor Daniel. There were three other individuals at the residence, including a minor inside the home who were able to hide and avoid being shot by Gordon as he went through the house searching for them. The DA also says Gordon then carjacked someone in the parking lot of a Dollar General store. Falls Township issued a shelter in place order, which has now since been lifted. The county St. Patrick's Day parade for tomorrow has been canceled. To neighboring Ohio, where after an e EF3 tornado ripped through Logan County, killing at least three people, residents are beginning to assess the damage to their homes and businesses. The tornadoes in Logan County, which is about 70 miles northwest of Columbus, have claimed three lives and injured dozens more. The road to rebuilding is set to be a long one. This Indian Lake community will come back. And that's the message I got from everybody. We will be back. We are coming back. A big focus from crews in the area is power restoration, which is expected to continue throughout the weekend. Germany airdropped four tons of humanitarian aid into Gaza Saturday. It marked the first time the country airdropped aid into the enclave. Germany's defense minister approved the airdrops on Wednesday. Meanwhile, U.S. Central Command says U.S. forces along with the Royal Jordanian Air Force also conducted a combined humanitarian aid drop into northern Gaza Saturday. It included hundreds of bundles of food that was supplied by Jordan and dropped from a U.S. Air Force C-130 aircraft. And next at 10, Madisonians took to the square for the Shamrock Shuffle. Find out the calls they ran for. And meteorologist Buddy Reeves is back with another check. We have first one forecast, that and more after the break. Day one furniture's truckload mattress blowout. Queen luxury firm mattress only $299. Queen Euro Top $399. Queen Jumbo Plush or Firm just $499. All sizes available during this once a year mattress event. Only at Madison's locally owned A1 Furniture. This is Ford Truck Month. With amazing offers across an amazing lineup of Ford trucks. Make way for the event that only comes around once a year. Featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. Get ready and get to Ford Truck Month. Choose Flex Buy on F-150 with 1.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 2,000 Flex Buy and 1,000 Open Trade Assist Cash at your Wisconsin Ford dealer. 
I just love dancing, so I was always willing to dance through the pain. Since visiting the Good Feet store and wearing the Arch supports and being pain-free now, my mood and my energy has drastically improved. Once that energy gets into you, double spins. <laughs> Washington has become corrupt. Career politicians sell themselves to special interests and end up working for them and not you. I've worked hard, been fortunate. I don't need their special interest money, and I won't take it. If you decide to elect me as your next senator, I'll donate my entire salary to a Wisconsin charity every year. I'm Eric Hovde. I can't be bought, and I'll put you and our country first. I approve this message. Shop family-owned Brothers Maine for our large selection, low-priced deals, and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point, and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family at Brothers Maine. Two iconic rock bands. One night of history. The Marshall Tucker Band. Jefferson Starship. On Cloud9 Tour. Saturday, May 25th, Ho Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. All the hits. All the history. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. For the first time ever, the Marshall Tucker Band, Jefferson Starship, together. Get instant cash back at A1 Furniture. Save $50 off every $500 you spend, plus incredible in-store only deals. Your choice, two-piece sofa and love seat or sectional, just $10.99, and get the recliner free. Only at Madison's locally owned A1 Furniture. Monday at 10, newly built condos in DeForest turned out to be much less than promised to residents. We were duped. I'll show you how a call for action is getting results to help solve this condo chaos. Monday on News 3 Now at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Joggers woke up early this morning for this year's Shamrock Shuffle, which we previewed in our In the 608 segment earlier this week. Participants could sign up for the 5K and 10K runs or the 5K walk. Over 1,000 people took part in the timed runs. The event raised money for the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County. Tomorrow, meanwhile, is Madison St. Patrick's Day Parade, and one local organization intends to take part with their own float. Logan's Hearts and Smiles aims to make children with disabilities, and well, everyone for that matter, smile by providing accommodations and other resources. We at News 3 Now got a special advance look at their float. Making floats for tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day Parade. It's going to be a great time. It, the weather might be a little chilly, but so what? We all have coats, wear a coat, and come out and make smiles and see smiles. And those smiles will be happening at tomorrow's parade, which begins at 1.30 p.m. at the Capitol Square. Our very own reporter and host, Brady Mallory, will be the Grand Marshal. Well, the folks from that org organization expected to be cold tomorrow. Let's hear from meteorologist Buddy Reeves. Buddy, is that true? Yep, Jalen, <laughs> I have the blue tie on, so that only means one thing, that we do have chillier weather in store for you on your St. Patrick's Day. Let's take a look at three things you need to know. Again, it's gonna be a chilly St. Patrick's Day compared to today, where it was uh, rather warm. It will be chilly tomorrow, and then we will get mild by midweek this week, and then by the weekend, it does turn cooler and breezy as we head on into your Friday and Saturday of next weekend. If you were outside today, you were like, that's a little windy out. Winds were out of the northwest, out of roughly around 33 miles per hour, gusting uh, a little bit higher down towards Monroe, where we were gusting to 41 miles per hour. But starting out your day tomorrow for your St. Patrick's Day, if you're heading out maybe to one of the parades downtown or across the region, it's going to start out at around 26 degrees, so you're definitely going to need a light jacket as you head out the door. As we head on into your afternoon, stopping around 1 o'clock, right before the parade starts here in the Madison area, it's going to be around freezing. So you're definitely going to need a light jacket if you are heading out um, to look at the parade. And then as we move on into your Sunday afternoon, getting it up to around 36 degrees, 37 in Janesville and 35 in the Dells. And then as we head on into your Sunday night and Monday and you start your day off with some work or school, we will start a little bit colder at around 21 degrees. High temperature trend over the next 10 days. Our average high is around 44 degrees. We're actually going to be below that on Sunday and on Monday, but then we rise up into the upper 40s before we fall back into the lower 40s. And then by Tuesday of the following week, we are back down right at 40 degrees. 
Speaking of next weekend, we are tracking the storm system and Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington was the first to alert you to this. Yesterday, we are tracking a storm system that could bring the potential of some um, some snow couldn't get that word out today and this could overspread most of southern Wisconsin before transitioning to more of a rain event so we will continue to watch this models have not come into great agreement as to exactly what kind of precipitation to expect so the bottom line to that is we are tracking a system for late Sunday through early Tuesday that could bring a mixture of rain and snow and the track is key for the type of precipitation that we will see here across southern Wisconsin but it could help bring uh, some much needed relief to the drought situation across southern Wisconsin. Take a look at the seven day forecast. 36 degrees for tomorrow for your St. Patrick's Day. It will be a little bit breezy. Then as we move on into the rest of the work week, we do have that chance of mixture on Thursday night, changing the snow showers on Friday and Saturday. And then as we move on into the following week, we are tracking that storm system that could bring us the chance of seeing some mixed precipitation on Monday and Tuesday. So we are gonna have to watch and see how that storm system develops Jalen and if it could bring some much needed relief to parts of southern Wisconsin. I know that we've needed it because of the drought, but right. I know why you couldn't get snow out. <laughs> it's it's because our it's weather like, has been so vastly different. And it's almost And then now time. that you've got to go on TV and say s s snow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I can not believe it either. It, it's hard to get out because spring is uh, it's on right around Tuesday. The corner. Yeah. yeah. It's right here. So, oh well. But it's Wisconsin. Time to break out the jackets yet again. Exactly. All right, thank you, buddy. You're welcome. And if you've been out and about this month, you may have run into some Irish dancers. This weekend is their busiest time of the year, but have you ever wondered what St. Patrick's Day is like through their eyes? Our Baden Ross got a look behind everything. When most people think of Irish dance, they think of just like a jig and they just like think it's kind of silly and just like leprechauns and everything, but they don't realize how much like work and preparation goes into this weekend. The weekend Irish dancers spend months preparing for. It's just like thrilling. It's so fun. The Trinity Irish dancers have already performed more than 30 shows in the first two weeks of March alone. Last weekend we went out to um, like nursing homes and assisted living communities and we do performances for them and that's just really cool to make people in our community happy. Verona High School junior Audrey Helmke has been a part of Trinity Irish dance practically all her life. And this is my 13th year dancing, so a really long time. And I started because I watched the Trinity Irish dancers at the Overture Center when I was really little and I had my mind set on doing that. Now she's traded in her dance shoes for a clipboard and spends the weekend wrangling and mentoring younger dancers. It's really cool to be able to kind of be in charge now. I had a lot of years of being able to perform and I still do sometimes, but it just, it's really cool to watch everyone like develop throughout the season. It's not an easy job, but Helmke says it's a rewarding one. In the moment, it's like, I don't feel tired at all, but yeah, definitely at the end of the weekend, it's a lot, but I love every part of it. Reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. And there's still the time to catch the Irish dancers. If you haven't seen them yet this year, They'll be in the St. Patrick's Day Parade tomorrow, which is downtown, of course. And there are also performances at Patty Max, Thirsty Goat, and Brick Cider. And coming up in sports, dancing in Durham. How Wisconsin skated past St. Lawrence and onto the Frozen Four. Next in sports with Zach. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Sometimes the do-it-yourself route isn't the best option. Call Monona Plumbing instead and get your plumbing problem fixed right. A name you can trust when service is a must. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry, RAV4, or Tundra Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Here's California banker Eric Hovde running for U.S. Senate. But Hovde's lifestyle 
Pure California, CEO of a billion dollar bank. Here's Hubdi's over $7 million Laguna Beach mansion. And three years in a row, Eric Hubdi was named one of Orange County's most influential residents. Mm. Multimillionaire California banker, Eric Hubdi. On Wisconsin's side, don't bank on it. When Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. Want to instantly look more attractive years younger? The solution is whiter teeth. But you love coffee, tea, wine, or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered power swabs. One friend was like, your teeth look like really white. Did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did power swabs. Power swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first five minute application. Better yet, after a week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> Over 500,000 people have already seen incredible results. Now it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. This is a power swab smile. Call or go online to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. Plus get free shipping. A lot of law firms claim to be experts at handling injury cases that involve large trucks. But handling one trucking case does not make you an expert on the subject. Experience matters in these cases. One local firm has handled 25 trucking cases which resulted in payments over $1 million each, and hundreds of others as well. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Sometimes the do-it-yourself route isn't the best option. Call Monona Plumbing instead and get your plumbing problem fixed right. A name you can trust when service is a must. The last time Wisconsin beat Purdue, there was a Big Ten title on the line and Chucky Hepburn hit a clutch shot late for the win. Well, that was two regular seasons ago, but history does have a tendency to repeat itself. No title on the line for this one. Instead, a spot in the Big Ten championship game, and this one was a close one throughout. Tied at 45 in the second half, Stephen Crowell playing like Big Steve down low. The poster gives the Badgers a two-point lead. Now they're down one with 2.7 ticks left, and Chucky Hepburn with the kiss off the glass to beat the buzzer and we're headed to overtime now in ot it's another clutch shot this time though it's from max klesman and his floater gonna win it for wisconsin as they're headed to the big 10 championship game for the first time since 2017. andrew banstra was there and has more on what a wild ride this season and that game has been for the badgers the thing about roller coasters is you have to let your stomach drop all the way to the floor before you can start having fun. And the Badgers have had their fair share of gut wrenchers this year, but it was always worth the ride. They've used the Big Ten tournament to climb their way back to the top and have a chance to win it all. Jones fires! No good! Wisconsin wins! It means a lot. We, we had a lot of goals for this season because we knew we had a really good team and we let a little dry spell get, get the best of us there in the middle of the season and now we're fighting for a championship and, and that's what we came here to do. We came to win this thing. That's college basketball at this level. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs and I think that's just the maturity of this group to stay even keel and now we know it's March. We know it's a new season and we're coming ready and I think you can kind of see it and you can feel it in the locker room for sure. We know we're ready to rip and we're hot right now and it's on us to keep it going. Man, that's what the people at home love to see you know exactly. games like that that was definitely fun to be a part of you know fighting with your brothers going to war like that it definitely was fun Hepper, fake, drive, way up is good. it would be hard to describe just how electric the atmosphere was here after the badgers won but can be best summed up by a wisconsin band member i saw sobbing saying he's my hero max klesman is my hero at the target center andrew banstra news three sports History is on Wisconsin's side in their regional final matchup against St. Lawrence. Six times LeBon has been the host site for the NCAA tournament, and each time the Badgers have punched their ticket to the Frozen Four. Lucky number seven was on the line this afternoon, and Mark Johnson's squad wasted no time in this one. 15 seconds in, Casey O'Brien goes five hole, and the lamp is lit. Badgers buzzing early. 
This one, though, still tied at one in the third period until Laney Potter sends one in and Sarah Wozniewicz deflects it into the back of the net and Wisconsin heads back to the Frozen Four with a 4-0 win. We didn't take this moment for granted. We didn't take this opponent, opponent lightly. Um, we came in with the mindset that we're trying to continue a legacy here. You know, make another Frozen Four, get another national championship. If I'm a player and I'm playing the last game at Le Bon and I get to, you know, skate off the ice with a trophy, mm. I'm sure there's not a better way to, to finish my career in Madison than uh, the seniors were able to do this afternoon. State boys hoops, Mineral Point looking for their first state title in program history. Just have to get past Kenosha St. Joseph in the Division IV final. And the pointers were on point from deep. Alex Ross splashes on the triple. Mineral Point jumped out to a 9-0 lead, and they were loving the long ball. Landon Thousand drops in another three. They made 15 of them and go on to win their first state title, 65-64. Abundant Life looking to do the same thing in their first trip to state, taking on Columbus Catholic in Division Five. Second half, Challengers working it down low to Demetrius Davison, and he banks it home for two of his 14 to give Abundant Life a three-point lead. But Columbus Catholic would make some big shots late. Charlie Moore sinks the triple, and the Challengers would fall 81-75. to and down in Division Three, Lakeside Lutheran fell to St. Thomas Moore in the finals, 65-54. Not the result the Warriors wanted, but they're bringing home their first silver ball in program history. So congrats to everybody making it to state from our area. Oh, yeah. Silver ball, nothing to hang your head about. The Challengers. That's mm -hmm. a you what like mascot that name? would that be exactly? You know what? It's I, not a car. No. Wouldn't be a car. Trying to think. But I, li I like it, though. I like it. That's different, for sure. But let's talk about UW men's basketball. <sighs> can you believe it? I mean, honestly, I can, because when they're playing at their best, we've seen them yeah. beat the best, so. But, like, you know, January was great. February, yeah. not so good. Everyone's oh. like, <sighs> and look at what they did. Just proving everybody wrong. One went away from their first Big Ten championship in almost a decade. And Tyler Ball said it himself. He said, you know, we knew that we had a good team. And obviously, that he admitted that they had a bit of a rough stretch, but they're back to rolling. March is here, relying on their. I think the quote guys. of the night, though, was from that band member that Andrew found. He's my hero. <laughs> He's my hero. Max Klesman is my hero. I mean, <laughs> a moment like that, that's what March is all about. That's how you remember it. So happy that that band member <laughs> was so impacted by that shot. All right, well, sounds good. Thank you, Zach. We'll be back with more after this. To Middleman Mattress Markup Malays. And yes, to Factory Direct Savings at Denver Mattress. And during the March Mattress Sale, get the Summit for only $332.49, plus five years no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. In America, adventures can be both big and small. That's why we created the Ford Explorer, available with an intelligent four wheel drive terrain management system and seven passenger seating. Ford Explorer. 